Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tia. You can go ahead and call your girl T. So I'm obviously doing now a follow-up video. If you want to see the first video where I go through all the details and everything that you need to know about the Kenzie. I'm getting very close to being a hairless cat and it's been working great for me. So today I wanted to show you guys because I've been having a lot of questions just on if you're able to use it on your face, if you're able to do it on your armpits. So I went ahead and did a small demonstration of that. So I'll make sure I put those clips in. If you wanna see that, please continue to watch. I'm turning this bad boy on now guys and I'm starting on the armpits on level three. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> so I'm just going through the motions, um, pressing and holding, trying to brace myself and over the course of time, it did not hurt that bad. You want to make sure you're doing this with no product on your skin, so no deodorant, anything of that sort. I'm fresh out of the shower, so yeah. You guys can just see me struggle busting through my armpits. I heard that IPLs can help with hyperpigmentation and just darkness on the armpits. I will be doing a follow-up video on that just to see if it does actually work and if my armpits do get lighter over the course of time. I ended up doing three passes on both of my armpits for my first application since again I'm only doing this on level three. I think anything more than level three on my armpits since they are darker is going to burn and I did not want to take that risk. I would say that the pain is probably a, a three out of, wait, this is a bad scale. I would say it's a, it's a two out of five on the scale of pain. It's not that bad, but there are certain points and periods where it did get bad for me. Just take your breaks. It's going to be hot and it's going to smell like burning hair. So yeah. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the face and I was super nervous to do this. I don't have a ton of hair on my face, but I did go ahead and shave whatever I did have around my mustache, my chin area and on the sides. And you do have to make sure that you're leaving this flat, but I was able for the most part to do it on my face. I had no issues, just slight redness from the heat, no burns, nothing happened so I was feeling pretty good about that and since that hair is finer there I have not seen any hair since and I did two passes on myself on my face See, this is what it's looking like afterwards, just slightly red in certain spots, but that's really it. Pain level was not that bad. Honestly, it hurt more on my armpits than it did in my face. Definitely hot though, it was hot. Face is done. Ah! Oh no. Nah. This is where it all goes bad. I've been doing my legs on level four and I've had no burning whatsoever. So I'm like, let me, let me turn up a notch for the girlies. Level five is definitely too much for my skin tone. I had 
lots and lots and lots of burns pretty much everywhere that did it on my legs and i was struggling to do this guy it was actually really hurting um so i didn't even get to finish doing my full leg because i was in actual pain so please listen to your body it'll let you know before the marks show up that like sis this is not what you think it's about to be um because i was ignoring that and just trying to get through the video and you can tell that i'm taking like massive breaks because i'm dying um so i'm going to insert some pictures of what my skin currently looked like right afterwards and then what it is looking like now it's been weeks guys um two weeks and it's still very visible Um, I'm gonna try to do some treatments and figure out what to do for the burns and just to make this process a little bit faster in the healing so for my skin tone specifically level four is the highest that I can go and in terms of the actual hair growing back I've had no issues So as you guys could see, I did my face, my armpits, and my legs. So um, the face was not as bad, or at least at this point, it was after I did the armpits. The armpits was a little rough for me. I think that anywhere that areas are sensitive is going to hurt. I only did it on, on uh, level three for my armpits and my face because I did not want to take the chances. I did go ahead and do it all the way on level five on my legs, and I will insert that it definitely did burn me um so the highest i've been able to go is level four with my skin tone and that has been working great for me and honestly the hair, hair has barely been growing back and i'm only on week six at this point so i'm halfway through the treatment it's saying by week 12 if you're able to do it on setting five by week 12 you will be able to be fully hairless so i'm assuming since i'm only doing it on levels three and four they'll probably take about 16 weeks or so so i'll probably do one more follow-up video after i feel like i'm completely done with this process and then from there you only have to do it once every three months so yeah, I will insert the pictures where I did get some minor minor burns. I've definitely seen girls have way worse. So I'm assuming if you have a darker complexion that you will have bigger, worse burns. Don't do it, girl. Just don't do it. So I'm thinking for us, the brown girls, we need to stay in the threes and the fours. And you can still get the results. It's just going to take a little bit longer. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the first one if you want all the details on this. Again, this is just a follow-up video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in my next one.